Hey guys, Rich here, eBike Reviews and Adventures. Today I'm going out on an adventure with hopefully one or two other friends will show up. Uh, we're going to Robinson Preserve. That is located uh, just south of St. Petersburg in the Sarasota Bradenton area. We're gonna check that out. Then we're gonna skip over the bridge and we're gonna head over to Anna Marie Island and we're gonna drive across the island and check that out as well. It's gonna be a great day. It is hot, it's humid already. It's 7.30 in the morning, but it's gonna be a great day. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm here at uh, Robinson Preserve and gonna take a look at the parking lot right here. Uh, one thing I noticed is uh, this parking lot right here, uh, the trails that are immediately around this parking lot are only for class one e-bikes, class two, class three are prohibited. So I was looking at the map and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and park here on load and then we're going to uh, backtrack back out of the park right here on the main road and we're gonna circle around to an area where uh, I believe class two, class E3 bikes are allowed. And then we're gonna ride the perimeter of uh, Robinson Preserve. And then from there, we're gonna head on out and go to Anna Marie Island. So that's the plan right now. I'm just waiting for a couple of friends to show up so we can uh, uh, get unloaded and get going. All right, guys, we've got Stacy over here. She is riding the event and say hello, Stacy. Hey, man. No, you're supposed to say hello, Stacy. Hello, Stacy. And we got Kevin, first time joining us here. Hello. Kevin is here and he is riding, let's get over here, let's spin you around. He is riding the Magnum bike today. So we're gonna be headed out onto the trails and we'll see how far we go today in this heat and hopefully have a good time. Here we go. All right, guys, so here we go. We just left the parking area and we're taking this perimeter road to get around because like I said, the, the part of the park where we were at, uh, class two, class E3 bikes are not allowed. So we're gonna avoid that. Turn left. We're turning right here. So I guess I should give you some hand signals, huh? <laughs> Would that be helpful? Hey, what's the difference? Is, uh, I know what class three is uh, fast. The only difference between two and three is the speed. Uh, class two is up to 20 miles an hour, and class three is 28. How are you going to know, like, if you were a ranger? You're not going to know. You wouldn't know. However, the state law says there's supposed to be a label on your bike, but very few manufacturers sell, you know, put labels on them saying what they are. So, yeah, you're right. Someone asked me, I don't know what class it is. <laughs> That's it. Well, I don't think it's a problem out here on these trails. Unless you saw a sign that I didn't. Good morning. Did you, did you see a sign or something about... Uh, did you see a sign or something about no class two or three out here? For this one? Oh, I didn't see that. So, let me get in front of you right here. I'm not. I don't know if that's something new or not, but there's a lot of people that ride out here. So. Class two had a throttle and the other ones don't. No, class two and class three have throttles. I think we're going to the left here, yep. Hello. Yeah, class two and class three, they both have throttles. So yeah, so you can pedal or you can throttle only, either one. Class one is pedal only, no throttle. It's almost no difference No, it really isn't. The biggest difference is speed between two and three, you know, the 20 or 28 miles an hour. I think we're going to go straight here. Well, that's cool. You want to ride out there and check that out? Stacy, let's turn around right there. Since we uh, don't know where we're going, when we see things like this, we'll just, just enjoy it. Anyone 
anyone have a desire to go climb it? You want to go check it out or no? What are you doing? Waiting on climbing that thing? No, I'm just giving you the opportunity to climb if you want to. <laughs> I guess that's a no. I imagine it is. I imagine. Kevin, you up for it or no? No, no, it's, it, it's a group effort. This is what this is about today. We're just do whatever we want to do. I'm saying no. She's saying no. I say no. Well, here we go. <laughs> For sure? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, have a good day. Well, that's a nice view. This is beautiful. Yeah, it is. No, I don't either. I'm sure they're there. Maybe an alligator or two. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I didn't see any fish at all. On your right. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Stop from here. Zebra fish? Is that what that? No. Uh, what's that called? Oh yeah, I see. Is that a zebra fish? Bunch of little ones right here. It's almost like an aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they do. These guys are pretty, and there's some bigger ones right out there. Probably. Yeah. Not having that torque, you know, to, to do what you need to do. I never figured out this thing here. You see this, uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, so. I've got, I know this thing, they told me to leave it open. But... Well, well, if you're on a hard surface, some people like to close them. Yeah. Because that keeps it stiff. Keep it stiffer. Yeah. It keeps it stiffer and you get better mileage. Yeah. Okay. But I prefer to leave mine open all the time, so I just leave it open so you mm -hmm. got a little little yeah, sponge well, to it. Right, right, right. But this over here you can adjust how much sponge you have. I mean how much it's gonna how stiff it gets. Really? So that's that's how you do that one. I've never really messed with mine because I've never really needed to. I've always been happy with where it's at. But uh, so if you leave this open you can twist this and it, it still affects how much you know how much spring you get in there. But I like mine to have a fair amount. I only notice it if I guess if it's bumpy. Yeah. Is that a new no, no, no. No, this is the one I've had. This isn't the one I did on the Legacy Trail, but I had no, this I, one. I don't recall seeing you with the uh, big tire. You're always riding the little tires. I think I had this one at Nathan Benderson when we were there. Really? I think so. Sometimes I don't pay attention. That's a fine looking bike. It's a... You like mock wheel, right? I do. I'm this a huge is a fan. heavy duty looking beast. It is. It, well, it's a, I say it's a big man's bike, you know, because it is. It's just a large bike. But this year they came out with a smaller frame. So they do have one now that's a little bit smaller because they realized it was too big of a frame for a lot of people. A lot of people were buying them and sending them back because they were just too big. What? Really? But, is it that much bigger than the Avatar? No, that's almost the same. Yeah, I would say it's probably close to the same. But it has a mid drive, right? Nope. No? Nope. It's got the hub motor. That's just where they hide the controller. It's the frame is designed. They could do a mid drive if they wanted to, but they yeah. just use this frame and put a hub motor on it. Look so they put the controller and stuff in there. It's totally beautiful. That's the basalt. Yep. I like it a lot. I don't know how bad I want that little red mock wheel that um, what's his face has. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you might decide to invest in a rack is a little bit easier well, over yeah, time. I said, after we got them, I said, you know, this is a headache. Well, I'm loading mine in the back of my truck, and I, I've been using a motorcycle ramp. You need a ramp, yeah. yeah, yeah. But what I started doing just this morning, Stacy, is I go ahead and I just turn it on and leave it on. And I get up to the back of the truck and I hit oh, the th hit the throttle and make it stand up on its back wheel. Do a one wheelie. And then just set it up there. Then I just lift the back end and put that's it in. Horrifying. So that's good for you. That's a little easier. Sure it is, but well, yeah, yeah. I've used the assist and then it freaks me out because I'm afraid it's gonna go. Whoop and the first it. time I ever did it and tried it, it did do that. I, I hit it too and held it too long and it just. <laughs> oh, <son of> <laughs> well, we're gonna have Ooh. to video him loading this with that. I, uh, up on its back wheel thing when we get there. I was just curious if there was something out here for us to go see. Yeah. Class one. We'll skip it for today though. Class one. Yeah, I don't want to get challenged. We did good over at the preserve. So we'll go back. Wait, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. Class one is your rainbow bike. You have to pedal. There's no throttle. That's class one. Okay. Throttle's a class two. Throttle is a class two that goes 20 miles an hour. And turbo is class three. Class three okay, is turbo. Okay, got it. <laughs> but you know, who uses the throttle, really? I mean, just to get started. Get started most of the time. Sometimes, sometimes I'll use it because on this bike, pedal assist one and pedal assist two, there's a big difference. And so pedal assist one, I can't go any faster than like eight. But then you guys were, you know, we were kind of going like 10. If, if I do pedal assist two, it automatically wants to jump me up to like 14. I see. So what I do is I keep it in one, but then it allows me to give it just a little bit of throttle okay. and it keeps me at about 12 or something like that. And so I can maintain that while I continue pedaling. So I often use the throttle that way. I've really? never done that. We'll have to practice. I learned something on one of our rides as well. Try to always keep your pedals side to side. Okay? So yeah, so when you turn, <laughs> that's you scrape out on the bottom. Yeah. Yes, when you're making curves and stuff. So it's like I'm trying to do it just all the time now because I'm we went out on some mountain bike trails, and uh, she uh, kept wanting to keep her pedal down like this, uh -huh. and then she'd make a left turn and she'd catch she her root. Caught the pedal a couple of times. She didn't wipe out too too badly. No, just kind of scraped it is all. But I'm just saying it's something that I'm practicing ever since. Live and learn, baby. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> I don't right. Want to do that. Oh, that's the hard way. <laughs> that's the hard way. That's right. I get it. So Stop to take a picture. <laughs> I didn't want to linger on that bridge too much, you know. Yeah, she's coming. Nice little area for a boat launch. Yep. Again. Oh, there you are. I didn't see you. You were perfectly behind him, I guess, because I didn't see you. I That's why I stopped. Take a view off the bridge there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can smell the ocean, huh? Yeah. A little better than the nasty swampy water by over there by the preserve. That was a little nasty. That's what the mangoes smell Coming across the bridge, I had to dig up my little glasses because I started getting pelted with sand and stuff off the road. Woo! You know, I, I try not to think about such things. <laughs> I'm the only one then. Yeah, yeah. Of the worst. A little worrisome. Worst case scenario. <laughs> okay. 
Woo. All right, so I'm following someone else's uh, route that they did. Oh, nice. So it's the GPS. So we're just, and if we want to deviate, we deviate. So again, if you guys see something you want to stop and see, just stop and yell, hey, let's stop. And hey, let's stop. As soon as we see a milkshake shack, there's no heads up, guys. We're just on automatic stop. Is that what it is? Great. <laughs> Hey, I'm always good for a milkshake. That's my weakness. <laughs> Woo. So, uh, what's that? I've been up here in the car a couple of times. Just a couple of times. The traffic was always so bad, I just, I didn't want to come back. <laughs> but this is nice on a bike. You get to see a lot more and... Well, you remember a lot more when you're on a bike. You yeah, you do. In the car, you just blow and buy things. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see some of that up close. Never done parasailing, No, that's a little beyond my scope. I don't like heights, so I don't no. think it's for me. Not for me. All right, so we've done seven miles. Seven? Is it? Yeah. Seven. That's it? That's it. Well, this is a pretty nice little ride down here. I mean, a little traffic to deal with, but it's not bad. Not bad. That one little section where they had the working on the sidewalk, that, yeah. was, the only, that was the only part. Yeah. Hey, Stacy, were you tempted to hit that little skateboard park as we went by? No, but I thought of you. <laughs> because you're this close. Now that you can pop a wheelie to get that yeah. up onto the truck. I'm, I'm that close to being able to do it, huh? Yes. Yeah, it'd be fun. I used to skateboard when I was like 12, 14. Yeah. But not, not, you know, not when I was really good, just on straight ways. Yeah. I got pretty decent. I could do some of the ramps and things, go up and turn around and come back down. And The thought of having a fall on one of those things. Oh. I fell many times. <laughs> Falling off of anything. I try not to, I don't even wear high heels anymore because I could just fall off of <laughs> I'm it? not even Who kidding. Who needs it? Who needs it? That's right. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the area, man. I'm sorry. The beach? Yeah, sorry. I'd say go straight. But I mean, there's beach everywhere, but where they can get to, I don't know. Wrong. You just keep going, you're going to hit it. <laughs> well, you know what? I could have told you Manatee Public Beach. That's back there. That's probably where they want to go. That's probably what he's looking for. I've never been up this far. I've never been up this far. I have, yeah, me neither. Where are you going, Stacy? Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Gets a little crowded down here. Yeah, it does. Oh, this is, this here is amazing.
All right, guys, so we just finished up that ride. It, uh, you know, we cut it short because we didn't go down to the south end of the island. The sun is beating on us pretty good today, and we stopped a lot along the way, and the day is starting to drag on a little bit more than what we wanted, so we decided to cut it short. So we'll do the south end of the island another time. But I uh, got loaded up here, and uh, we've all departed, so it's time to call this uh, a wrap. Uh, it was a great day today, and uh, i tell you what, we saw some, a uh, little bit of wildlife. We just saw a lot of beautiful beach and just had a really good time. Um, that's all I got to say about this one. We'll see you in another video real soon.